Welcome back to the Two Pinos in the Pod podcast. I am your host, Chris, a.k.a. Chris Feezy, a.k.a. BBC. Joined here with my co-host. Uh, you know him as Leo. We know him as Lenny. We know him as Leonard, a.k.a. Leo the Firm, a.k.a. El Feezy, a.k.a. BBC. Yo, BBL. BBL. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? What's up? What's up, brother? How's it going? What's up? What's up? Pleasure to be here, as always. Uh, yes, it's going sir, good, man. Steve. How about you? How about you? Just another fabulous day. Um, it's been it's been a good week, man. I'm having a good time. It's been um a ride for sure. Remember last week I was super sick. Yes, so, that's right. Yeah, this week COVID I had twenty five. Twenty five, bro. Fuck. COVID twenty nine. Um, yeah. It was rough. It was super rough being sick, like especially because I have like a labor intensive job, so I could barely breathe while I was like doing all of this heavy lifting. Mm-hmm. Um, but we got Resistance over it, training, man. Am I right? <laughs> Straight cardio, no, uh, no vascular. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was. I don't know. I had a really rough time getting over it. I'm still kind of getting over it now, but yeah, I'd say about I'm at about eighty five percent. Okay, that's good. That's still a B plus. Still a B solid plus. B, B, B average, depending on the curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I like how it curves. Like um, those high, high grade students <laughs> exactly. skewing the curve. Jeez! Shout out to the um the D minus students helping out the curve. Anyways, how was your week, man? Uh, it was good. Um, I got to see a couple of we call them like out of the ordinary surgeries and follow Ooh. it through. Yeah, one of them. I'm not going to try to get like specifically into what it was done just in case anyone from work is listening to this. <laughs> you know, don't want to don't want to be a hippo. A hey man, hippo, don't want to don't want to wanna hit, get hit with the NDA that you signed. <laughs> <laughs> don't mess with the Rico. <laughs> um free free Jeffrey. Free. <laughs> <laughs> free my boy Jeffrey, man. Slime. Free for young thug, for young thug. Yeah. Thug innocent, I'm telling you. It's all racketeering, Game straight man. from the bottom to the top of lifestyle. <laughs> 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 I'm on the top of the mountain, popping the clouds. It's the beginning. Okay. All right, what I was about to say. Okay, so one of them, um, a kid had a food object stuck in their throat. Mm. Um, it was actually, well, not stuck in their throat, but more like stuck in their, like the, the entry part of the lungs. So oh, the shit. Trachea. That's deep. So, like, yeah. So like I got to watch the surgeon, like go in and find it and then like extract. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it was so cool though. Fucking sick. And then this other one. Is freak. Like... <laughs> it was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> It's so deep in there. (laughs) Just let me, just let me me be a part of it. Give me the. We're talking about a child here. (laughs) We're terrible. (laughs) Just seeing, just seeing doctors prep for it, like getting, like making sure it's like super sanitary. um, Mm -hmm. I get super nervous because I'm like, bro, what if I get infected by something in the air? Uh huh. Like, dude, I'm nervous whenever they do that. Dude, facts. And there's so much plastic involved. Like, mm-hmm. you put your arm through a glove and then put that glove through another glove yeah. and then put put these specific smaller gloves on so you can do the actual surgery. Like, that there's three layers real, between you and the surgery. That shit's real. Yeah. It's not just, just no Grey's Anatomy shit. Just know that there's less layers between me and your bitch. <laughs> protection. And no Pro- glove, no love. Am I right? Do you have protection? Whips out a blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> yeah, babe, don't worry. Right here. <laughs> trap card. Tra- she's the trap card. But yeah, man. Mirror um, force. That, we're we're two and one. Um other than that though, our my week was okay, I guess. I didn't really do much like spectacular things. Editing cool, the podcast cool. is a pain okay. and a half. Let me tell you. This is for you guys. All right? Yeah. This podcast is for you, so Fucking like the video. Come a little closer. Put your put your ear close. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. 
like the video. <laughs> All right? And subscribe. And subscribe. Follow on TikTok. Follow. <laughs> Listen to me here, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what? Yay. <laughs> Come here. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. Super Bowl was this week. Yeah. I was pretty yeah, stoked going into the Super Bowl. Um, so I guess that's like pretty much our whole topic system right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were you what were you stoked about? Who were you cheering for? So I went for I went for KC solely because the Swifties were behind them and I don't want to go against them. <laughs> Specifically, I have no This I man is follow, a smart man. I don't follow football. I don't know any players. I don't I barely know Patrick Mahomes, but I knew that the Swifties <laughs> would pull it off. So he didn't want to start end, a world war. And He's uh, a smart man. Spoiler alert, they did. They pulled it off. So wait, what, dude? I didn't even watch it yet, bro. <laughs> it's been it's been two days. I'm just joking. <laughs> By the time this comes out, it'd been like a month and a half. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, I guess their legacy, their dynasty, or whatever is <laughs> nothing big. <laughs> Someone Swifties was a dynasty. For, Someone was going for the 49ers. Ah, uh, let's just say I had my uh, my hopes up for Christian McCaffrey to just carry the whole team into the to the victory, but uh, he got he he lost he he let go of the gas at the end, you know. He got tired. It was a Couldn't good game, it. though. It was a good game. It was super good. Super they did their good. thing. You know, overtime Super Bowls are always a fun thing to watch. Yeah. Well, it but. depends on like what the score and outcome is like if it's a blowout then it's obviously not fun well yeah towards... but if it goes into overtime obviously they were tied you know yeah apparently this is the fourth uh longest game longest super bowl game in history so really yeah all right man well that's the updates let's get into it we really want to talk about <laughs> super bowl right now because it's fresh on the mind we're gonna, we're gonna sure. hit this real quick yeah can't wait till you add the uh, that's a raven it transitions in there. <laughs> uh, Super Bowl Sunday um, was yesterday. Today is Monday, the twelfth of February. Ooh. Yesterday was the eleventh of February. Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday was with the San Francisco 49ers and the Chiefs. No, Kansas yes. City Chiefs. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Um, it, it was a solid game. We went for. Do you remember the score? Um, no, but it was close. It was like sixteen thirteen or something like that. And then a yeah, it was a three point. Then... It was a, it was a touchdown oh, 16, deciding 16, right? situation. Uh, I think it was like twenty one and twenty thirty one. Twenty five to twenty two. Dang. Close Thank you, game, fact checker. Man. Um, did you have any money on the game, sir? Nah, but shoot, I would have lost money, man, because I would have put money on the Niners and they fucking blew it. At the end. I, I made a hundred <laughs> bucks off of yesterday, so I was pretty stoked. Um, um, must be um, nice. So Eddie had... Wells, not all. <laughs> not all. You didn't work yesterday, right? So you got to enjoy it from a couch. Uh, yes, sir. From my friend's couch. I had to work yesterday. So what I that, devised man? the plan for all of the boys to watch the game while working yesterday. We have an area of work where we have to like do our manual labor. Did so you go to like the electronic section and, and then put it? And what all I did on was I TV there. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I did was my butt. We have a speaker at work to play music. So what I okay. did was I brought my iPad and I connected my iPad to the Wi-Fi from the office space, and then okay. um, I I downloaded Paramount Plus. Shout out Paramount Plus, and they had the live stream of the Super Bowl. So I just. Mm-hmm. Um, played it on the speaker and watched it from there. And there's just like 13 guys from around the different departments that came over and we're all standing huddled against this one small <laughs> iPad and we're all watching the game. And we watched the halftime show in its entirety. Not one of us moved. Damn. That's pretty <laughs> Shout sick, to, dude. Shout out to Usher. Um, Usher Raymond. Yeah. Usher Raymond. It was cool. He didn't do the um, the song, though. The, 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 you know? <laughs> I was waiting he for the... um, for Justin Bieber to come out and somebody to love to play, but shoot, everyone was disappointed, including me. If if only, uh, he he did a really good job. Yeah, 
Yeah, Usher, Usher did. had a great I, halftime show. Jesus. I liked his um, shirt being taken off. I mean, uh, I like his performance. It was really Shut good. <laughs> <laughs> I liked his abs. I mean, uh, his song, his singing. It was really good. Dude, mid-performance when he took the shirt off, I was like, yo, Usher's in great shape. <laughs> yo, he took off his jacket first, and I was like, oh, okay. And then he took off his other shirt, I was like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay yeah. Usher, Usher saw 50 Cent at the, uh, at the last halftime show, and he was like, yo, that's not going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> why, are you, why are you mad at me for? <laughs> Shout out to Usher, man. He had a really great performance. I'll put his performance over the weekends, even over um, who was it last year? The, uh, the trifecta last year. Yeah, even Rihanna. You you would put honest. it over Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Eminem, Mary J. Yeah, Blige. I would. I would. It was Damn. a better performance. Plus, you I like dance, I like so. the trio. The trio is better, but fuck. I mean, the songs are better. I did like Usher, wrong. But Usher's catalog was so vast that he could he could have went for another five minutes. What was your favorite song that he played? Probably Burn. You don't hear Burn in concerts very Shoot. often. Yeah. I was waiting for the rain to fall, you know, <laughs> just right there on stage. When he, when he hit the note. <laughs> oh, my God. When he was playing with the mic and the mic went like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, like I like the part where he goes, hey, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> These are my uh, confessions. Just when I Yeah, he I hit that. Um, what was this? your favorite favorite dish or drink that you had for the spread? Oh, this is just in general. Like, if you were to go pull up at a Super Bowl party, what kind of food are you looking forward to seeing the most? Dude, honestly, you don't see it very often anymore. Just pigs in a blanket is fine. I love pigs in a blanket. We had that. We had that. Yeah. That show was good. Um, um, my, my sister yeah. would do this really good um, buffalo chicken dip. It was like shredded Ooh, chicken with like yes. like cheese melted in like a crock pot, and mm-hmm. some chips. Man, I could eat that all day. Oh. Super Damn, fire! Damn, that sounds good. Get yeah. hungry right now. And then um, um, one year we went down yeah. to the industrial area, and they had like fresh ahi platters, and so we had uh-huh. like a bunch of sashimi on a platter. It was like two hundred fifty bucks. Yeah. The one that we went to. Jeez, like, big but spender. Okay, Super Bowl, you know. <laughs> got money. We uh we we go hard on food. That's for sure. Mm. I go hard for the food. Damn, I totally forgot about like parties in Hawaii, and so the first food item I was gonna say was like chicken wings, buffalo wings, mm. or you know just like chicken wings in general. But yeah. then you reminded me that fuck, dude. Every party, there's always gonna be poke. I fucking mm-hmm. love poke, dude. Guaranteed, man. That's probably my favorite. Mop that. Mop central. Yes, Shaw. Uh, the worst is when they have like poke and they like only have chips. They don't have rice. And I'm like, like Ugh. poke chips. Ugh. Like just, it's just poke, no rice. Like, ah, uh, man, it's just the worst. You know, you know, in the mainland, they pronounce poke as pokey, pokey. Yeah, they're pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> okay, that's wrong, right? Yeah, I looked it up. Pokey. I've I've heard other people pronounce it poke, so I'm like, I'm sure it's pronounced poke. When I was Living in there college, for, <laughs> yeah. When I was in college, there was a place that opened up next to like a Chipotle, and it was a poke uh-huh. place. And so uh-huh. every every time when like someone like the people in the school would go like, oh my god, do you want to get pokey over here? I would get somewhat upset <laughs> every you time. Cringe on the inside. Yeah, and so one time somebody said it to me. Like this girl comes up to me, he's like, you want to go to this pokey place with us? And I was like. Uh-huh. I like physically cringe. I was like, what did you, you say? And she said, no, this pokey place is like across the street, right next to Chipotle. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I'm okay. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good on Pokemon? the pokey. And then I went over there and it's like lima beans. Oh, inside of yeah. The poke bowl, you That's know? right. It's, uh, it's like a kind of like a salad. Yeah, they put like shredded carrots in it. I'm like, yeah, what is this, Or bro? like um, cabbages. Um, yeah, lime, just lettuce, edamame. Just give yeah. it a fucking rice. Right, you know why they rice. do that though? You know why they put the other toppings on there? It's because okay. they go light on the scoop. Oh yeah, guaranteed. Super light, and so they try to fill it up with all this extra nonsense. Bro, and the scoop is not even good poke, bro. It's just like it's tuna mixed with like teriyaki and soy sauce. And I'm like, bro, this is not even good Facts. poke. 
Facts. There's like no mirroring in this. There's no like small balls in here. Like, come on. Pause. Unpause. Oh, no play. pause. Absolutely no pause on the play, small balls. Play straight. Bro. Play that. Resume. Play that, dog. Play back. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess it's because we we're from Hawaii and we grew up with Poke that we like. We just know good. We're just Poke snobs. That's all it is. Yeah, Poke snobs. You're you're right. You're right. You're not wrong. Poke, like, bro, they have this like um, crab leg Poke now. At, at at Foodland. At Foodland, I'll find the I video. I sent it. I sent it to my sister. It's like a buttery, savory crab leg. Buttery, poke. flaky crust. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> I, my mouth just my mouth just watered for a second, oh. bro. It was so good. The guy, the guy who was uh, the TikTok video that I saw do it. He like he opened yeah. the crab leg and then he let the juice fall on his rice. And I was like, oh. fuck. Every time I, my sister and I have this joke where every time we um we smack our lips or like and we look at something really good, we're like, "Fuck, I want that." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that video you showed me of the guy eating his plate inside the car. It was like Kalua pig and something. Mm-hmm. I showed it. Uh, I watched it, man. It made me so hungry, bro. <laughs> bro, the way he was smacking his lips, bro. Yeah. He like. <laughs> he like he inhaled it. He, he inhales each bite in like two seconds, bro. Yeah, bro. Dude, it's like guy, ASMR, he's like, bro. He's wild. He he'll do that for every place too. I fuck with him. He did that at at Zippy's of all places. Damn, but Zippy's <laughs> fucking smacks, bro. Zippy's is just pricey now, man. Inflation got Zippy's super hard. Mm, yeah, that oxtail ain't cheap no more, man. I mean, it's not. It's, 30, it's not the same. Thirty-five. Oh, bro, 30, 35 for oxtail like soup. Nuts. That's a lot, bro. You know you can buy like yeah. $35? You can buy You can buy oxtail Pokeballs. for cheaper, bro. You can buy a pound like 2 pounds of oxtail for half the mm. price. And just yeah. buy the rest of the stuff yourself. Shit. Speaking of oxtail, have you ever had kare kare oxtail? Yes, so good. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> With the long beans but, and the bagong. Yeah. Mm. But dude, I go I go cheap when I make kare kare, and I do like, I do parts of beef chuck roast in there, like mm. it's just a cheaper cut of meat, but more mm. just more meat inside. You know what I mean? Dude, kare kare is just like one of those meals where it has to be an event for my family. <laughs> so if we're gonna have it, it has to be oxtail, or else it's not. It's not See, kare kare. It's not hopping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, um, no. For the non Filipinos out there, what is kare kare? How would you describe oh. it? Uh, kare kare is a usually beef based um, <clears throat> stew with peanut butter as one of the main ingredients mixed with, with like specific types of greens. You can either go with like long beans or bok choy or mm-hmm. any other type of greens that you like. Um, mm-hmm. It's very, very, very peanut buttery. So if you're mm-hmm. allergic to peanut butter, it sucks to suck. Um, <laughs> you're going to die if you eat it. <laughs> if you're going to Strongly- die, man. Strongly avoid it. <laughs> now, here's the real question. Do you use the mamacita mix or do you use actual peanut butter or a mix of the two? I use both. Yeah. You got yeah. to. Yeah. What kind of peanut and butter the do you use? On. Skippy's. Skippy Creamy. peanut butter? Creamy. Creamy. Fuck. One time my mom made it with crunchy and I was like, mom, what is this? What? This is not right. There's like, the texture in your kare kare must have been off. It was Just... wild, bro. The consistency was wild. I've been seeing so much content about like kare kare on my Instagram reels, and they're uh-huh. like, "Have you tried this kare kare ramen? Have you tried this kare kare burrito?" What the and I'm like, fuck? "No, I haven't. Let's see how you do." Was it good? The kare kare ramen Wait. would be pretty fire. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, it's just a base from the kare kare, right? Like the soup, and then you mix yeah, that in with some like, noodles. I was thinking like peanut butter, peanut butter ramen. Hmm. I don't know. Like I like the like, same. I but, like, we, but then you mix the cut the bagoong with the noodles. Yeah, I don't know. I might just have to try it and. <laughs> I'll know, send you the video and see, see if it looks that. appetizing. Okay. okay. Does, Maybe next um, time does, I make karakare, I just gotta make ramen on the side. <laughs> does Jez cook a lot of Filipino food, or do you guys eat out a lot more? Um. Ooh. Well, there's not a ton of Filipino restaurants near us, so we tend to cook all the time. Um. The thing that we or that she cooked recently was uh, sisig, pork sisig, mm. and then I made the pork sinigang. Yeah. You put the egg on top. Yeah. The sisig. Oh. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of sisig to be honest with you, but like I'll take a bite here and there. 
Get out of here. <laughs> trying to, I'm trying to cut the pork from my diet, man. The pork is... We kill don't us. accept him. No, the pork is kill us, bro. It's I told myself good, I'm not going to eat... This year, I'm not going to eat pork unless it's either bacon or lechon. That's the only my two. Heart. <laughs> bro, lechon, I had a scare. Good. I had a scare recently. What about longanisa? That's why. Longanisa. Well, they, they have chicken longanisa nowadays. Ew, I don't know about that, though. Oh, it's fire. It's fire. Trust me. I'll show you one day. Okay. Like, I, I buy it at work pretty often. But Okay, Pookie. Okay. Um, I had a scare this year, or well, maybe last year, where, like, I, I was eating pork all week. Like, uh-huh. my my Autumn's um, stepdad was, like, making lechon all week for, like, an event or something. So, he, like, made, kept bringing, like, fresh cooked lechon in plates to work and with, like, a fat, like, two styrofoams, one all rice, one all lechon. Uh-huh. And so, that's the kind of life I was living. And he um he he made it so much that at one one day at work I was like fuck I can't move my knee and I thought I had gout <laughs> he got gout this right, and like all of my co- all of my coworkers have gout like they have gout issues Gosh. so they all look at me like oh bro guarantee gout guarantee That's gout a problem bro. in Hawaii bro Dang, bro and I'm like gout? and I'm like bro no way I have gout right now I'm too healthy I don't drink alcohol I don't I don't I don't do anything bro you vape. <laughs> I, I mean, I vape, I vape, and I drink water. That's all I do. <laughs> I'm a very healthy person, but I don't know, man. Like this, this, like scary. I couldn't move. Like I was trying to stand around and like walk around, oh. but my knee was so stiff. I was like, "Fuck, I can't move." It wasn't gout at the end of it all, but like I looked at Autumn and I was like, "Babe, I, I can't eat pork anymore. I, Dang. I can't have gout like this." That, that scared is me a so much. Tough sacrifice. That is I mean. Tough. I mean, Muslims would. I mean, Jewish people would um, beg to differ. True, because they can't eat pork. Vegans, vegans are like next level. <laughs> vegans, I don't know if I could ever be vegan, man. Because I love steak. Steak is not that bad. Yeah, steak, oxtail, lechon, <laughs> bacon, uh, Portuguese sausage, spam, fried shoot. chicken, bro. Just fried chicken. Oh. That's all. Just fried chicken, like the um. Uh, it would uh, end me. Salt. Salt and vinegar chicken from uh, Foodland. Uh, Ooh, yes. I had that. Um, my brother bought, brought it one day. And, oh, it was so good. Oh. Just Damn. the best. Um, Ashton and Ryan brought that to my birthday party. Oh, they did? Sheesh. Yeah, so I was like, oh, solid, okay. solid choice. Yeah. I brought me. I, I didn't even say the spread uh, for my party last, last episode. But mm-hmm. um, the spread from me. Was I bought a big thing of Ponce Palabok from Jollibee, and then yeah. ten Yum Burgers, and then someone else oh. brought wing. Someone else brought Wingstop with like two different types of sauces. Um, somebody else brought the chicken. I bought a bunch of mm-hmm. rice. Like, oh man, it was good. It was only Damn. like six of us too. So I don't know why we brought so much food, but we ate. We literally inhaled like a cake too. <laughs> yeah, they're probably we too full to sing afterwards. I know. Shoot. I, okay. <laughs> gotta get back um, on topic here the next one the is describing itself. the game no we gotta describe the game with taylor swift songs i don't even know that many taylor you're like swift the songs. king you're like the king of references my boy i, I feel like you not for taylor this. swift not for taylor swift <laughs> all right just pull um, up just pull up a bunch of songs on the side and just be like okay right here right here the first the first <clears throat> uh the first half bad blood for sure mm-hmm Okay, Especially okay, on see, the Chiefs side because they, they were getting they were getting kind of heated. Yeah. Travis Kelsey like cursed out his coach. I'm pretty sure he's not coming back next season. Yeah, and um I mean Pat Mahomes was doing I in the first half, but you know, he just had to shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> see? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Here, let, um, let's go look up some let's go look up some songs. Okay, let me look up um, Taylor Swift songs. Man, it was like the game itself was like, like it was uh, just in a very giving mood, kind of like taking it back to December. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that one was a, that one wasn't good. That one was good. Um, what is one? Yeah, I'm on the Wikipedia. Twenty two, um, love story. <laughs> well, you know that people people look at Patrick Mahomes, and they think that he's the one. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um what was I gonna say? Uh once um Damn. 
once the, what's his name Jake Moody missed that extra point everything has changed <laughs> Bro, we were, it was so close of a game they were trying to go like the the Chiefs were down the entire time but every time they would gain an inch, they would like go back. So it was like he took one step forward, three steps back. You know, <laughs> it's not even Taylor Swift's song. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker! I didn't. I was like, what song was that? <laughs> Are you just picking up your own? Uh, no, uh, I'm looking at the list, dude. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, I had one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, dude, the Niners must have been so sad after this game. I bet it's going to be a cruel summer for them during the training camp. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, they threw so much <laughs> bullshit out there yesterday. Most of the time, every time they threw the football, it hit a blank space, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was just... uh, Man, um, it's too bad it was real life because for the Niners, it would have been the wildest dreams. <laughs> bro. Oh man, it was like a forest of dudes out there, man. It was like they they were climbing over each other. Everybody was getting hurt. It was like a Christmas tree farm out there. <laughs> Wait, what? What's the song title in that one? Christmas tree farm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Uh, let's see what else we got um, here, man. Shit. Let's see. Let's. I'm see. only in the F's. Bro, Patrick Mahomes went out there fearless because he did Ooh, not take okay. no for an answer, bro. Uh-huh. Some could say he was he's the anti hero. <laughs> you used that one already. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, okay, I thought that. I think at the uh, end of the game, I wanna say it was such a good game that I was enchanted. All right, last at one. At the end of the game, Patrick <laughs> Mahomes was talking to Taylor and they're like, Where should we go now? And he says, I know places. <laughs> um, at the end of the game, when Pat Mahomes threw that uh, touchdown to, fuck, who was it? Marcus Valdez Gantling? Or no, who was the other guy? It was a uh, uh, green something, I think. No, fuck. no, no. That's anyways. Like I got hurt. anyways, when he threw that touchdown, he was like, see, look what you made me do. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. Last one. Uh, well, you, you got one yeah, more. Yeah, in I here? guess. I guess the um, the Chiefs have some good karma because they ended up going up with that two peat. So, shout out to the Chiefs. Shout out to Taylor Swift. Congratulations on the win. <clears throat> Congratulations. Um, it was a true love story at the end. Taylor Swift got her championship ring, but not an engagement ring. Uh, Dude. <laughs> Our buddy, our buddy Stanton actually like was watching the game and he was like, "Oh my God, Patrick's gonna propose to Taylor." Oh, not Patrick. Um, Pat, uh, yeah, Travis, Travis. Kelsey. Travis is gonna propose to Taylor. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> I there is actually a betting. Um, There's a betting option to see if like if Travis would propose to Taylor Swift or not. And dang, I forgot what the Dumb. odds were, but <laughs> I didn't Dumb. think it was gonna happen. I didn't. I doubt Dumb. it. It's too big of an event for. For something like that to happen. Yeah, exactly. I I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like she would be mad if you did propose there. She's yeah. <laughs> she's a classy galley. <clears throat> she flew all the way from Japan. She must have been jet lagged. Yeah. She... Dude, everybody. That's a girl so though. Salty. That's a keeper. <clears throat> I was on I was on YouTube Shorts last night, and everybody was just like, "This is such a rigged game." I hope everyone enjoyed Taylor Swift winning her first championship. <laughs> like, how was that a rigged game, bro? That was a really hard fought game. <clears throat> As a well scripted All... game, <laughs> I mean, they're I just guess. following the NFL script. <laughs> just kidding. Can we switch uh... to the next one? I like. The next <clears throat> yeah, one. yeah. Okay, so the best Super Bowl ad of 2024. You can go with your best ad. So my best ad, and I'm actually gonna share it to. Um, Let's play it. I think. Okay, okay, this one, this one. This is for your Big Mac, right? First one that misses? Watches the winner eat lunch. Got it. Off the floor, off the scoreboard, off the bank board, no rim. 
Over the second rafter. Like, how the fuck do they make that? <laughs> McDonald's. It's MJ, man. Off the expressway, over the river, off the billboard, through the window. Uh, Nothing but net. Shout out to MJ. <clears throat> shout out Larry, Larry Bird. I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot just because it's oh shit <laughs> my video's playing in the background. Um, I like that one a lot just because it's the goats Larry Bird and Michael B Jordan. I mean <laughs> Michael, Michael, Jordan. Michael, B. Michael A Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> and and it ended up being a McDonald's commercial. Like you never see fast like athletes or professionals advertising um, or being the spokesperson for a fast food restaurant anymore. What do you mean? Who? Uh, Draymond and Curry and Jason oh, shit, you're right. Tatum are all Just on kidding. Subway. I take back. Do they have their own meal? Yeah. Yeah. They oh, wait, do. that's Subway it's though. Because Subway's kind of fresh. I mean, I guess. Um, Minus the tuna. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite right, ad, um, was from this year anyway was <laughs> um, Jesus. Oh. No, the Jesus ad. The, the, the washing he the feet. Washed feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What was it saying? Like Jesus, Je- Jesus didn't throw hate. He washed feet. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> I like that if one. I wasn't. If I was a foot model, that would have been the best <laughs> ad ever. Foot but, fetish freak. <laughs> I know. The, <clears throat> there was one ad though I really wanted to participate in, but I couldn't because mm-hmm. I was at work. It mm-hmm. was um, the DoorDash one. Did you see that? Uh, no. I think I kind of missed that one. Must have not so been DoorDash did this really crazy thing. If you <clears throat> if you were to watch their commercial and put the entire hashtag, it was uh-huh. a fucking long ass hashtag. It was a promo code. So you go to their website, put that promo code in, you'd be entered to win. Um, and the the competition was for <clears throat> every commercial that they had during the Super Bowl. They mm-hmm. bought that item and DoorDashed it to you. Wow! So I think there was like six cars that Wait, they were DoorDashing to somebody. Yeah. What the hell? I know. Wait, that's so like, cool. I that's really super wish. cool. I didn't know that. Shoot. I should have participated. I know. But shout out to DoorDash, <clears throat> man. That was a really good ad. They even had it on my TikTok, too. Damn. Hey, but going back to what you said about the previous ad, the washing of the feet, when I when I watched it, it reminded me of um, when I used to go to uh, church and, like, the retreats and stuff back then, <laughs> back in high school. <laughs> And how we would hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For 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 those who do not know, <laughs> Tur- uh, El Fizi here, Leonard here was a very big church guy. Hey, you were a church Humongous guy too. Church guy. First of all, you God were a love. church God guy. Is God is love. I was also a very big church guy. Um, hey, look at us. Good man. thing we grew out of it. Look at us. <laughs> who would have thought? Look at us. Who would have thought? Who not thought? me. <laughs> not I mean, I still go to church now. I still go like Sundays, but I don't go like Bible study or. Bro, we would go like three Monday. times a week. <clears throat> we would yeah. go. I would go four times a week. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, you were in uh, and what was that? Choir. You were in choir. Yeah, so I would, I would go to church on Wednesday for Bible study, and then mm-hmm. Thursday for choir, and then show up early on Sunday to teach Sunday classes for CCD, and then go to church after. Oh, wait, wait! I gotta show you a video. Um. Jazz, is if the you're video there, uh, you guys. <laughs> is it the one where it's like um, church boys trying to show off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jazz, if you see if you uh, if you see this, um, clip it right here. <laughs> too funny oh and very God. accurate very accurate dude. very accurate dude and the guys <laughs> that like showed up in that i'm like oh i remember how cringe we were in church I bro know, in church of all places why do we think that we could act like shame, that in church? shame on me the lord was watching <laughs> he knew what i was Facts. up to let me tell you though the girls at church <laughs> were the baddest and i yeah, mean they're they're the goodest as well Good yeah, 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 the goodest, the yeah, goodest, and the baddest, yeah. the ambidextrous. Praising, praising on the knees, praising. <laughs> yeah, dude, you church. gonna fucking say that, you fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I just got like that. Shit. 
All right, here's our last question for the topics. Would oh, yeah, rather... I wanted to throw in one more. Um, I just wanted to throw in one more ad. Go ahead, go ahead. I want to see it. This one is probably another favorite one of mine. All time, all time. Not not from, like, the last, the last one. I don't think we're allowed to use the new ones as far. Betty White one. Oh, this is the one. Oh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. Oh, oh, oh. Better. Better. Jesus. God damn. Stickers hit the ball on that one, didn't they? That was so good. <clears throat> Shout out to Betty White. I legit, as a child, remember being like, man, I'm hungry. I need a Snickers. Damn. That's how captivated i was from that ad <laughs> shout out to that snickers is... man still my favorite candy to this day gotcha, for real mine will probably be i'm gonna say cookies and cream hershey's bar cookies and cream hershey's also a good one also a good one <clears throat> slapped okay sorry although white chocolate isn't real what do you mean it's not a real chocolate so it doesn't <laughs> naturally occur in nature yes it does it comes from the white chocolate cocoa from the from cacao. the white cacao <laughs> <laughs> the albino cacao <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> I'm gonna oh, put man. my leg up because I'm Asian. Do it. The knee is up. All right. Last Let's one go. says. <laughs> last one says. Would you rather uh, watch the NBA season? Um, who do you like? Oh, this is about the NBA. And current favorite player. All right. Yeah. Okay. NBA season is on the way. Still, we yep. just had the All Star game, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> uh, no, they didn't play yet. All Star Game. Oh, they didn't play, play yet. Yeah. I don't know why the fuck I was watching. <clears throat> they they drafted them, but I think let me go see when the All Star Game is. It's in March, right? Like it at the end of March. Is Sunday, March February eighteenth. So next next Sunday. Yes, I gotta put that on the oh, calendar. Okay. Yeah, I probably gotta watch that. Is <clears throat> on Paramount? Uh, nope. <laughs> why? You want the you yeah, want the password? I gotta get you the NBA. Yeah. You want the account? I got you, bro. <laughs> Um, uh, you know, we're Laker fans, man. Yep. Don't tell me LeBron. I literally have LeBron Kobe as my background on my, okay. on my uh, computer right now. I used to have him. How do you feel? How do you feel about the new Kobe statue that just came out? Uh, I'm fine with it. I like it. I mean, I think yeah. what Vanessa said was Kobe picked it out, picked out the pose himself. And mm. I respect it. I mean, <clears throat> at the end of the day, it's a statue to honor Kobe Bryant. So... I'm cool with it. Dude, I I was devastated when oh. Kobe Bryant passed away. Oh yeah. I was abs- I called all of my friends, <clears throat> like all of my like friends that lived in California. Yeah. I was like, "Bro, what's going on?" Bro, I was sad. Because this was around the time this is around the same time that like Nipsey <clears throat> Hussle just passed away and he was like <clears throat> a big figure in LA too. <clears throat> and so it was like they're just losing legends back to back, bro. City of Angels. City of God. Angels. Shout out to Kobe Bryant, shout out to Vanessa Bryant. Um, shout out to the whole Bright family. GG Paul Gianna. Gasol for helping out. Yep. Uh, Paul yeah. Gasol is a real one for like being <clears throat> there for yeah, Vanessa. Yeah, dude, real like, real homie, dude. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, I, you want friends like Paul Godfather. Gasol in your corner? Yep. Godfather. Um, um, who's your who's your pick for MVP this year for the NBA? For this year, I haven't been watching much, but if I had to say, last year was Joel Embiid, right? Yep. Um, Who's been cooking? Who deserves it, to be honest? Mm, who's been winning? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Bugging out over there. It's all right. It's all right. <clears throat> um, the court hit it. I'm going to say Jokic again. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I'm going to say Luka just cuz he's he's been having Dude, a pretty he's crazy a year. Beast. He would probably be he's probably one of my favorite <clears throat> uh players right now. He oh. just dropped a fat number, right? He dropped like 40 or something on his one of his games recently. Yeah, that's it's typical Luka. Luka magic. Dude, Luka's crazy. Shout to Luka. <clears throat> I want to see I want to see Phoenix in there again, because it's just because I like Lonzo. Oh, and Lamelo. 
<clears throat> um, and then Wait, I want to see. Place for the Hornets. Yeah, the middle ball. Yeah. Oh, it plays for the Hornets. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's in Phoenix? Oh, Devin it's KD in Phoenix. Yeah, KD, KD. KD's in Phoenix. <clears throat> yeah, no, no, I don't want to see Phoenix go. Fuck, you. fuck Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like KD, man. KD's a fucking assassin, but like, I don't like him. Yeah, he's just a. I only hopper. like him. I like him if he comes to the Lakers, though. Ring chaser. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're right. I probably only sure. like him if he comes to the Lakers, just like how we only liked LeBron when he <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> joined the team. Before that, I was like, where do you think LeBron's LeBron, going next LeBron year? LeBron sucks. <clears throat> Wherever his son goes. You think his son's going to come to the league right after? Uh, After one year? Probably not one. Maybe after one more year. It's crazy to think that um, LeBron joined the league right after high school. And mm-hmm. his son is in college right now. And yeah. Because like, if you look at, like, LaMelo, he went overseas and didn't even go to school <clears throat> Yeah. for, like, the year. He just went the amateur route and then, like, made his way into the semi-pro. And then he did a year with, like, the – what's it called? The JBA or something? Yeah. But like, look at him, bro. Like, the guy has, like, the best um, basketball IQ of the, like, newest generation, in my opinion. Oh, you like LaMelo, huh? I do. I do like LaMelo. Although he's very cocky and I don't like his dad, mm-hmm. I like how he plays. You ride in the balls. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't like um what's his name? Lam- Alonzo Ball. <clears throat> that guy gets yeah. injured so much. He doesn't even play. Dude, don't even get me started. When we had him on the Lakers uh-huh. and we it was like the the young crew with like him and Kuz. Yeah. And we had um What's it? Who's that Holly guy with the with the headband? Alex Caruso. I like Caruso. Him. I like Caruso very much. I wish we kept him. He <laughs> was a really good six man. Me too. He was a G. Yeah, a lot of talent in NBA. Um, not much to say until we get to the preseason, though. I mean, the postseason. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But we'll see how it goes. Lakers are definitely not going. They're sucking ass right now. <laughs> Yeah, LeBron's still putting up numbers, but the, the team around him isn't there. I don't know. What's up, man? Just let him build the team already, bro. <laughs> let him let him bring his son to have, L.A. We have so many pieces. I, I don't know. Maybe it's a coaching problem. Uh, yeah, ever since we lost Phil. <clears throat> Our boy Phil. Phil Jackson. Uh, uh, but, yeah, I don't know. Lakers all day. Lakers in five. Like night. <laughs> <laughs> Lakers in fire, baby. Let's go. I have so many like diehard Laker fans back in Vegas too. Mm-hmm. Like, um, they're waiting for a franchise to come out there. And dude, in Vegas. Come, oh, can they we go should. back to Super Bowl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we go back because <laughs> Super Bowl was in Vegas this year, yeah. and I felt so left out. Damn. Dude, their stadium is beautiful, <laughs> uh, and the sphere. It is. The sphere is am- amazing. Somebody just climbed the sphere. <laughs> you know the guy who climbs like skyscrapers. Uh-huh. He's, he climbed the sphere. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It was so weird. Did he get arrested after or what? Uh, yeah, Gary. He always gets arrested afterwards. It's like the protocol. That's too funny. But, yeah. I don't know. Shout out to, to Vegas. I want to go to Vegas so bad. I miss, like, the atmosphere there. Mm. It's What do you miss about I it? I lived in Vegas for so long. I don't know. It's just, like, the ability the to do whatever and the you want at any time. of smoke? No. It's just like you know you're you're <laughs> hanging out with your friends at like nine o'clock and then it rolls over to like eleven yeah. and you're like all hungry. You go to go, you can go get ramen at eleven p.m. And, and you go food and you like go surely or purely surely for the drinks. <laughs> surely for the drinks. Oh, uh, was it? What was the thing? Um, solely, solely, solely for the drinks. Solely for the drinks. <laughs> See if I can find a video. How much was it? it was video like, was here. Twenty five cents. No, no, no. So it was twenty five bucks, but it was all you can drink, Crown and Down on the drinks. Um, so I'll just get a Crown and Crown and Coke for like four hours. That's that's so cheap. That's but, a deal. It, isn't it? That's one drink at Las Vegas, twenty bucks. Yeah, but bro, it was in a country bar, so I'm like, I don't even like the music. <laughs> Solely dude. for the drinks. You don't even like country. Yeah, bro, so, I gotta put you on one. On one of these podcasts, but it was like a it was like a line dancing bar, bro. Yeah, dude, I, I've gone to those and I never dance because I don't know how to fucking line dance. But the music, though, I don't know how to two step. That music is yeehawing. Oh, God, there was like hay in there too. So what we would do is we would go down to this bar called Stoney's, 
25 bucks, get your drinks, and then we would play beer pong. And we just played beer pong for like two or three hours. And then we would migrate from that bar that was like right there mm-hmm. and then go upstairs to um, this place called Blue Martini. Mm-hmm. And th- there they would have like a Latin night or they would have like hip hop night. And it was a great time. That was pretty sick. Sounds sick. Yeah. Uh, this or that? You're like, oh, I missed the days. All right, so this this or that is um, kind of related to the Super Bowl again. I try to bounce off of that same thing. But yeah. All we'll see. Right. It, so you want to do it like we did last time? <clears throat> yeah, let's do it. Okay, so it is burgers or hot dogs. I choose burgers. I choose burgers too. Okay, go ahead. Chips and salsa or fries? Fries. Fries. Okay. Uh, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Pepsi. What? You're wild, bro. Coke all day. Yeah, I, I like that Coke. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, take it back. Take it back, Coke. <clears throat> <laughs> all right. Beer or hard seltzers? Beer. Hard seltzer. Dang. We're very different today, huh? I know, shit. We're not on. We're not connected right now. Okay. Well, the thing is that I don't drink mm. beer as like a leisure thing. So uh-huh. even when I drink hard seltzers, I'm like shotgunning the seltzer. I live in the Pacific Northwest. So I feel like I gotta love beer. <laughs> the PNW. PM Dubs, where there's breweries like in every single PNW. corner. Yeah, that's all you mm. guys got up there. You got a P and a Dubs. <laughs> Over here, we get the Kona winds, bro. Oh, cut it out. Cut it out. Boop, boop, beep, bop, boop, boop. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, we're back. We're back. We Thank you for that commercial break. Um, Next, we have Chris. Will you do the honors? Underdogs or overdogs? Wait, we didn't do the Gatorade. Uh, that. <clears throat> I don't have that on my screen. I don't have that. Gatorade bath or champagne showers? What do you pick? On a count of three. One, One, two, three. Champagne showers. Champagne showers. <laughs> yeah. Guaranteed. <laughs> way better, bro. The, the celebration on the uh, in the NBA <clears throat> locker rooms are way better than like the celebrations in the NFL locker rooms. <laughs> they're all, they're probably the same. I bet you they do champagne showers in the in the NFL too. Uh, I just want <laughs> the goggles that they give you. Yeah, it's pretty sick. <laughs> it's it's crazy that they uh, have goggles now for it. Because they're just built up to feel like it's the the typical thing that's gonna happen now. Like it's a yeah. it's a it's a routine, it's tradition at this point. <clears throat> I wonder how much champagne they use or what kind of champagne they use. It's true. Um what is a cheap one, Brute? <laughs> I don't know, you can get Ace of Spades for free cheap. Champagne. Depending on where you go. Champagne. All right, next one. Is it my turn or your turn? Uh, my turn. Underdogs or overdogs? I like a, I like a good underdog story. TBH? For sure. <clears throat> you know why I was so conflicted during the Super Bowl? is because I wanted to go for the underdog. Uh-huh. Because I, I should have went for the 49ers because they were the underdog. But good thing I didn't. So. I think betting-wise, the, the Chiefs were actually the underdogs. How come? Um, I don't know. I think people thought uh, probably because they lost a couple of people <clears throat> before this game started. Maybe, maybe because the Niners just have like really good people. All right, <clears throat> next one is blowout or close game, dude. Close game, close game, unless it's the Lakers and then blowout. Yep, <laughs> either or, either way, too. Because I'm like, I don't even want to stress this much, yeah. bro. You let me lose like super bad or win super bad, so. Gotta clench the butt cheeks the whole know. time for the close games. <clears throat> you like oh, that, huh? This next you one. Like that, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is pretty wild. Is it my turn? Um. I I'll, I'll say it. Uh, are we talking about the same right. one? Super Bowl performance, Usher or Rihanna? You know, Rihanna's pretty bad, but shoot. Usher pretty bad too. <laughs> You'll make me wanna leave. Usher, 
I had more songs I could sing to with Usher. Yep, yep. There's always Although Rihanna did have a good performance. That'll always have your heart. Dude, Alicia Keys even sang her own song. I was like, wow, yeah, she like got to sing her own song. I know. The, the backdrop, the red backdrop for her was pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. And plus, he had, he had all the performers from the strip on the, on the that was halftime pretty sick. show. The, he has a residency yeah. in Vegas, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he, he does. does. My yeah. mom wants to go watch him for her birthday. <clears throat> oh, go do that, auntie. Okay. I think you see they're going to be Usher or it's going to be Mariah Carey. One of the two. Mm. Okay. All right. Last one is Super Bowl or Game 7 of the NBA Finals. It's a tough one. Uh, Game-wise, I'd rather watch the NBA Finals. But food-wise, the Super Bowl has better food. Yeah, I I like your point there. Like the I think I'm more invested in the NBA Finals, and because of how fast and how how often things can change in the in the NBA versus like during a football game, that's why I like yeah. like the Game Seven, the very final game. But nobody really throws a party for Game Seven. They usually just versus uh, for the Super Bowl, where everybody comes around, gathers. They have like. Mm-hmm betting blocks for it but nobody does that for game well, seven the super bowl <clears throat> the thing is with the super bowl it's one time you know yeah. like this, this is the end all be all for this one game yeah. whereas the nba you could have a game five and it be the last game yeah what are you what what do you think so, if the nba would be switching it up to just a um, a do or die type of thing just one game i don't think that's fair uh, yeah because a lot can because we've had series because, like, the football is the only game in the world that's just, like, do or die. Yeah. Every other sport, there's, like, a bracket with, like, uh, multiple games. Football is just a very played. physical game. And so for them to play, like, more than just once a week, I feel like it'd be more harm to the athletes. <clears throat> Versus, like, the NBA and baseball, hockey, all of that stuff. I feel like it's easier for mm-hmm. them to play multiple games. But, yeah, you're right. That'd be kind of sick, though, to do, like, a, a single elimination NBA bracket style. Didn't they do that? Oh, they did it. Yeah, the play-in tournament. Oh, not play-in tournament. The mid-season tournament or something. Yeah, the mid-season tournament. Guess who won? <clears throat> I like- the Lakers. Yeah, we fucking suck ass right now, too. But, hey. <laughs> I know. We got the... We're Get fake wrecked, champs. Kid. We're fake champs. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, our last championship was in the bubble. <laughs> we're Asterix champs. I think we're good here. <clears throat> yeah, I think that so. That was this or that, ladies and gentlemen. It was a rowling episode of laughs and conversation and all kinds of really good stuff. I have been your host, Real Manulet, a.k.a. Chris, a.k.a. BBC. <laughs> and <laughs> Go ahead and plug your stuff, Lenny. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Leo the Firm, L E O D as in dog, A F as in Frank, I R M. And you can also catch me on Twitch here and there um, at L F E E Z Y. Yep, that's about it. Your, <clears throat> uh, you can catch me on all social platforms at Real Manulit. That's R E A L M A N I U L I T. Follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram. Twitch, YouTube, more content to come, guys. Uh, we are trying to push it out. It is coming very soon. Um, Sounds like my Don't poop. forget to subscribe for more. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, guys. We'll catch you guys later.